I'm Andy Morgan. The unexpected news comes as Mayor Oscar Leeser says Chief Allen was recovering in the hospital from a medical procedure and during his recovery is when Chief Allen died. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap followed the procession for Chief Allen today from the hospital in far east El Paso to a funeral home in the lower valley where she joins us now. Shelby. Well, Andy and Natasia, El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen's body was escorted here to this funeral home here in the Lower Valley. And El Paso police officers speaking about who Chief Allen was, saying that you can never leave his office without learning something, mourning the loss of the chief who was with the department for over 40 years. A procession of police cars escorted El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen's body from the hospitals of Providence East Campus to Sunset Funeral Home in the Lower Valley. The El Paso Police Department speaking about the chief who died unexpectedly on Tuesday. Chief Allen was one of the most outstanding leaders I ever had the pleasure to meet. And like all great leaders, he taught his command staff, the people under him, how to lead as well. So we thought it was important that the city of El Paso and the community hear from men and women in uniform, letting know that everything will be okay. El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser speaking about the impact Chief Allen made on the community, saying during his leadership, El Paso became safest in America in 2010 to 2013. He will be missed not only by the men and women in the police department, his wife Roshan, his children, but also the whole community because we're who we are today because of the hard work. He started in 1978 as a patrolman and worked his way up there. Former El Paso Mayor DeMargo speaking about his relationship with Chief Allen, saying they went through a lot while he was mayor, including the August 3rd mass shooting. I'm, I'm personally saddened. He called me last week just to see how I was doing, and we shot the breeze for a little while. Um, but as I say, I think he, uh, we're going to have a hard time filling his shoes with a replacement and I just hope and pray we have someone that comes close to the caliber of individual that he was and has been. As for what's next, El Paso City Manager Tommy Gonzalez says that they will be looking at the talent that Chief Allen left behind, saying that he left behind strong assistant police chiefs, but they did say that today was about mourning the loss of El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen. Reporting live from the Lower Valley, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Shelby, thank you. And as you just heard, we also spoke with former El Paso Mayor Dee Margo about the chief's passing as he goes into further detail. Here's what he had to say. For a number of years, we went through a lot while I was mayor, especially uh, the August 3rd shooting and that. Uh, he was dearly beloved by his, 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 uh, um, the force. Uh, from a character standpoint, I thought he was uh, unsurpassed in his integrity. Meanwhile, Sheriff Wiles releasing this statement tonight saying, in part, quote, today we lost a dedicated public servant and friend to many who gave over 44 years of his life to the service of his community. I will miss you, Greg. And City Manager Tommy Gonzalez sent a statement saying, quote, this is a terrible loss for Chief Allen's family, and it is heartbreaking for us, his city family, as he meant so much to our organization and our community. And as those funeral arrangements come out, we will be sure to show the, share those with you on air and online at KTSM.com. Now,